What's up? I'm Vin, and I'm going to solve this summation question. And this question was from a high school math competition, and no calculator was allowed. So we have the sum from k equals 1 to 14 of k over 2 to the k power. And this is the expanded form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the sum is s, and I'm going to set it equal to the expanded form. So we have s equals 1 half, and then we have plus 2 over 2 squared, and then we have plus 3 over 2 to the third power, Plus, this goes on and on all the way to the end until we plug in k equals 14, and we get 14 over 2 to the 14th power. And what I want to do is I'm going to multiply everything by a half. So I have 1 half s equals, and if I multiply the first term by a half, I get 1 times 1 is 1 over 2 times 2 is 2 squared. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the terms that have common denominators. So that's why I'm writing it over here, not over here. And then next, if I multiply the second term by a half, 2 times 1 is 2, and then 2 squared times 2 on bottom will bump up to 2 to the third power. And this will go on and on all the way to the end until, let's say I look at the 13th term. When k is equal to 13, if I plug that in over here into the sum end, the general term of the series, we get 13 on top over 2 to the 13th power. So that's the term here that I'm multiplying by a half next. And I get 13 times 1 is 13 over 2 to the 13 times 2 on bottom, we just add the exponents. 2 to the first times 2 to the 13 gives us 2 to the 1 plus 13, which gives us 2 to the 14th power. And then the last term also gets multiplied by a half. So I get 14 over 2 to the 15th power. So the numerator stays the same, and the denominators just bump up one. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract these two. So I'm doing s minus 1 half s equals, and this term is on its own, so I'm just going to write 1 half. But now when I subtract these terms, we have common denominators. I'm doing 2 minus 1 is 1 on top, and my denominator stays the same, 2 squared. Plus, we're doing 3 minus 2 on top is 1 over 2 to the third power. And then this goes on to the end. We get 14 minus 13 is 1 over 2 to the 14th power. But now this last term, there's nothing above it, so we have this nothing here minus... 14 over 2 to the 15th power. But the thing to notice now is that what we have over here is a geometric series. And to find the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series, all we have to do is the first term I'll call a minus a times the common ratio to the nth power over 1 minus r. So here, if we're just looking at this part as the geometric part, we could just say that a, our first term, is equal to a half. Our common ratio for this part is equal to a half because to get from one term to the next, now all we have to do is multiply these by a half. And then we also could say here that n is going to be equal to 14 because we're finding the sum of 14 terms here. We're starting from 2 to the first on bottom and ending at 2 to the 14. So this part after the equal sign we could say is a half minus 1 half times r. And r is also a half. And we're raising r to the n power, n is equal to 14. And then we divide by, we have 1 minus a half on bottom. So now I'll just carry down the rest. We have s minus 1 half s is 1 half s. And then at the end, we have the minus 14 over 2 to the 15. So the rest is just simplifying. So from here, what we're going to do is we have 1 half s equals. And for this part, what I could do is I could say 1 half minus this is 1 half to the first times 1 half to the 14. So that we could simplify as 1 half to the 15th. And we're dividing by 1 minus a half is going to give us a half on bottom. But now notice that we have these common factors. So for this middle term here, what I want to do is I'm going to split this up. So I'm going to say 1 half s is equal to a half divided by a half is 1. But then I have 1 half to the 15 divided by 1 half to the first. So I could use law of exponents and just subtract and do 15 minus 1 is 14. And then I have minus 14 over 2 to the 15th power. So now to close this out, we just have to simplify. So what we could do is we could multiply everything here by 2. So I'm going to go times 2 all the way across. We have times 2, times 2, and then times 2 here. So now we have s equals 2 times 1 is going to give us 2 minus, when we do 2 times a half to the 14, just think of this as we have 2 over 2 to the 14th power like that. So we could express 1 half to the 14 like this. And then this we could say will simplify to 1 half to the 13th power. So that's how we could express this part. And then similar idea over here. 
We have minus 14 on top over, I have two to the first over two to the 15. So this one will cancel and it'll bump this down to the 14th power. So we have 14 over two to the 14th. So now we're getting somewhere. The rest is just gonna be simplifying. Another thing we could do is we could also say that 14 over two to the 14th is equal to two times seven over two to the 14th. So I could simplify this and bump it down another power like this. So let me just clean that up a bit. So we have the two over two to the 14. We could get rid of this two and write it as two to the 13 on bottom. So now I could say S equals, we have two minus, and now I'll say one over two to the 13 because I wanna combine these fractions in a moment. Minus, and then 14 over two to the 14 simplifies to seven over two to the 13th power. So from here, I could say two, and then I have minus one minus seven is minus eight over two to the 13th power. But a cool little trick here, eight is equal to two to the third power. So I could say that eight over two to the 13, so I'll just write that over here. So we have now S equals two minus two to the third power over two to the 13th power is equal to two minus and I could get rid of this one completely and reduce this one down to the power 10 because I'm just doing 13 minus three is 10. So now I have two minus one over two to the 10th power. So now it's just a matter of simplifying this piece here. And I would pick like, let's say I know like common powers here, like two to the third power is equal to eight. If I go up one more, it's 16. And then this one here would give me 32. But let's say I wanna go hyperspeed to two to the 10th power. I could just square both sides like this and then do the arithmetic on the side. So two to the 10th power, when I do five times two, is equal to 32 squared. And we're doing this without a calculator, so I will stay true to that. We have two times two is four, two times three is six. Placeholder, three times two is six, three times three is nine. And when I add this up, I get four, 12 carry the one, so I get 1024. So now to simplify, I could say that S equals two minus one over 1024. But two over one, now I would just multiply by 1024 over 1024, and that would give me 2048 over 1024 minus one over 1024. So this tells us that the sum of the series is 2047, because I'm doing 2048 minus one over 1024, and this is the sum that we're looking for. So our answer to the question is choice C.